Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. I recently discovered a new money script that I didn't realize I had. The money script is, overall, owning stuff is better than renting stuff. Now, like all money scripts, this money script is only partially true. Yet it's a belief that many of us have. It's almost as if Americans are hardwired to prefer owning things to renting things. Maybe that's why so many of us are overrun with excess stuff. Some of this is due to our buying binge of the past 20 years when credit was easy and the economy was roaring. Those days, well, they've come and gone. Especially in today's economy, there are many instances where renting things is the best financial decision. But you never know until you do the math. So let me give you an example. A few years ago, my wife and I wanted to stain our deck. When we obtained a few bids, we determined that most of the cost was in the labor and we had the time, so why not? We calculated the hours it would take us and the cost of the materials and decided it would be a good use of our time to do it ourselves. The one piece of equipment we needed was a power washer. Well, we could have rented one, but no. Why rent one when you could own one? So instead, we bought one for, I think the price was around $150. So uh, that deck was done three years ago, four years ago. The washer hasn't seen the light of day since. So I wonder how many power washers are collecting dust in garages within a six block area of my home, given the fact that about every house in my neighborhood has a deck, I'll bet there's at least a couple. Now if I had known of a neighbor who owned one, it would have been a win-win for both of us if I'd given him 50 bucks to use it. Now the idea of peer-to-peer -peer renting is really an old concept that hasn't gotten a lot of traction. In Part of this is just because of the logistics of connecting the owners with the renters. But with the advent of the internet, all that's beginning to change. Now there's sites where you can list the stuff you have for rent and buyers can easily find it. A quick search of peer-to-peer -peer renting will turn up a lot of sites if you just Google them, including there's rentalic.com, rent instead.com, snapgoods.com, and us. I think it's Zilok, Z I L O K.com. That's where I recently listed some stuff. The items for rent include power tools and ladders, punch bowls, food preserving equipment, projectors, even board games, and air mattresses. Now, before using any site, be sure to research its provisions for managing payments with integrity and preventing scammers. I have not checked out all these sites. Uh, of course, peer-to-peer uh, -peer renting isn't a concept that retailers or Keynesian economics or economists are going to uh, warm to easily. With good reason. I mean, any substantial shift toward efficiently sharing the stuff we buy with others is going to lower consumer demand and add to our economic woes, at least in the short run. This highlights one of the major problems of Americans. We have focused far too much on the short run and now are paying for it in the long run. There's a new book out co-authored by Rachel Botsman and Rue Rogers. It's called What's Mine is Yours and it explores this issue. They call this collaborative consumption. I like that. They describe having the status of your things that could be used by others available in real time on the internet. Now think of the stuff that you use occasionally that just sits around taking up space much of the time. Lawnmowers, cedars, garden tillers, uh, snow blowers, paint sprayers, carpet shampooers, power tools. What else is there? Is it available for use by someone else? I mean, rather than taking up space and costing you money sitting in storage, it could be giving you some extra income. Think about it. Thanks for listening.